everybody, it's Lindsay here. I have a, another very different kind of unboxing for you today. Um, in the past, we were a homeschool family, um, but the past couple of years, my kids have gone to public school. It's all been great, we've loved it, but with the whole COVID situation and not knowing what next year is gonna look like in the schools, we have decided that we're just gonna go back to homeschooling. It's, it's something that I did as a child, I was homeschooled, I absolutely loved it. Um, and then being able to teach my kids too, we had a lot of fun when we did it a few years ago. Um, and so we're actually really excited to get back into it. And so I, today was box day where we got all of our, um, the rest of our curriculum in and all of our books and the, um, some boxes uh, shipped in. And so I thought maybe I would just show you what it looks like, just to share, just in case some of you might be considering taking the leap into homeschooling. It's really not that scary. It's actually really, really fun and exciting. Um, and so let's get started, all right? Okay, so for our homeschooling, I like to use Sunlight Curriculum. Um, we're a Jesus-loving family, and this is a Christian-based um, curriculum and company, and so it's also very, very heavy in literature and books. And so there is a whole lot of reading, which we just absolutely love. And so I went ahead and I cut my boxes open. That's all I've done. Um, and we can go ahead and we'll get into this little one first. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so this is called Hands on History. And this is something new. Um, I've not done this before, but I will have three kids that I'm teaching next year. And so the history curriculum that we're doing, um, it's... It includes ev everything, like enough, it covers, blah, 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 it covers all of my kids' ages because it's history. History doesn't change no matter how old you are. And so um, the hands-on history are actually kits that supplement the curriculum. So there's, um, if I can get it open, all kinds of activities um, and crafts and stuff inside um, that you can do. Like you can, we're gonna be making a signet ring um, we're going to be making a quadrant, Viking runic carvings, I mean, a globe theater, a Viking jewel box. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff, and it comes with all of your supplies. I mean, everything you need to make all of these crafts and activities, and I mean, golly, it's everything. It really, really is. This is super cool. Okay, so, um, but having three kids, like I said, that I'm teaching, um, it was really recommended that you got one for each um, student. So there should be, if I can get this out of here. All right, so this box has two of my history kits. And then that box is done. And then we'll see. Oh, this is very, very heavy. Oh, and this is so cute. Okay, I'm so glad I got this box. Um, sunlight is so, so fun. All right, so once you're done with this box, you can actually cut it out and you make it into a castle and your kids can play with it. It's just adorable. So, so fun. I forgot about that. All right, so let's pull out our paper. All right, here we go. Oh my word, so much stuffing. All right, and here is my binder, and this is what I'm going to be using for all of my lesson plans. And for homeschooling and for regular school, um, we have 36 weeks of school, um, 180 days, or is it 140? Am I thinking of like the book, 180 days, <laughs> um, or 80 days? It is, it's 180 days of school. Um, some homeschool um, options are that you can do it in 140. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, but it is 36 weeks regardless. And so this is just my, my big binder that's going to have all of my history lessons, my science, each of my kids' grade level um, reading um, assignments and all kinds of every like lesson plan that I have for each of their grade levels is going to go in there. So there's that. All right. And then Sunlight usually has a couple of cool things. These are like um, bookmarks for the inside the binder just to keep kind of keep track of where we are um, in our lessons throughout the year. That's kind of nice. And then more stuffing. Here is my third. Oh, 
history uh, kit. I'm so excited about these. I think the kids are absolutely going to love the, uh, the hands-on history stuff. All right. We get a magnet. That's cool. All right. So this is our science kit. Um, I'm telling you, Sunlight offers everything that you need. And so for our science curriculum this year, let's see if I've got it in here where I can get to it. I know what it looks like if I, no, I don't see it right off the top. Um, so for science, we are doing, um, oh, I'm trying to remember now. We're doing, <laughs> um, we're studying weather, we're studying simple machines, and one other thing, and I can't remember what it is. <laughs> I'll have to look it up. But the science kit, again, comes with everything you need for all of the experiments for the entire year. There might just be a couple little extra things that you might need from around your house, but they really, I mean, they they seriously include everything that you would need for all of the different experiments. It takes all of the the prep work out of it. I mean, having to go around and shop for all these little tiny things, first of all, it'd be really expensive, and second of all, it just it would take forever. So much time invested in finding just all of these little things, and they include it um, with um, your science. And so that's just, it's just so nice to just know that that's ready. Of course, I, now I can't close the box, so that's just going to go right there. All right, and then the rest of this is going to be very um, more just, it's everything that I was missing for the year. I've really been careful about picking up all of my the books that we read um, throughout the for the curriculum that I want to use for the lessons um, I pick those up as I find them if I find them at a used bookstore that's awesome I save a lot of money like that I've bought a lot of them online on eBay on you know a bunch of discount book you know used books stores online it's just a great way to save some money but if you don't want to go through all that trouble, you can order the entire year pack for, for your kids, and it's done. Like, you don't have to buy anything else. It's completely, everything is included. All of the books, all of the lesson plans. I mean, it's just week to week. It has everything. So, mine, my kit is not a full kit, um, just so you, you realize that. Um, I've actually, I'll come over here and show you. I have actually been picking up all of the books and these two shelves are pretty much all the books that we're going to be using this year. So you can see how much reading it is. Um, but this is, well, not these, it's mostly this <laughs> and all of this. Um, but you can see it, this is readers for all three grade levels of my kids. This is science. This is history. This is Bible. Um, it's, it's just, it's a lot of reading, but it's, I think it's really, really, um, it's a good thing. And so um, I just needed to supplement with a few extra books that I was missing from my collection. Um, Spelling You See, I've got this for my two older kids. Um, really excited to try that. I've never tried that before. Another thing that comes with the science kit or the science curriculum is the Discover and Do DVD, which it walks you through. It's a video that walks you through each of the science experiments. It's so nice. And what we've done in the past is we would just take... You know, we'd have a couple of days where we would read our science lessons and we would work on our worksheets, but then we would take a day where we would just watch the, the experiment video and kind of make observations about it. And then the following day, we would actually do our own experiments. And so we'll probably follow that kind of idea again this year. That really worked out um, really well for us. Oh, there we go. So batteries, your body, and weather. <laughs> so those are the, some of the things that we're covering in science this year and then um, we do Singapore math um, this is for my second grader that'll or my my daughter will be second grade next year and I just needed another one of the workbooks for her um, these are the instructors guides for my sixth grader there's two of those because like I said I've picked up all the other books really here and there and then my fourth grader um, here's the workbook for her that I was missing um, next year for, for math for my fourth grader and my sixth grader, um, I needed a, a measuring kit. So we've got like the angle rulers and all the protractor and all of that fun, fun stuff. I can't wait. It's going to be so fun. All right. Little pamphlet. 
You get yourself a catalog so you can look at all the other stuff that's available. So fun. Lots of paper. All right, so let's see. So here's what a language arts looks like. Um, which these are, you will you would get one of these for each of your students depending on their grade level. So I've got a fourth grade, I've got a second grade, and I've got a, a sixth grade, which I chose the D for my sixth grader. Um, and any of these really, just because it says two, four, or D, or whatever label that Sunlight has on it, you just get the level that is best for your kid. Okay, you can totally customize this to fit your child. If you know that your child is super advanced, then you can bump them up. They even have advanced readers um, available for each level. So, I mean, there's, there's just so many options. Um, so, there's the readers for each of my kids. And basically, these will... Um, Part of this is like a lesson plan, and I will keep that in my notebook so that I can keep track of what they're supposed to be doing every day um, of the week. But then also part of this, uh, it's um, activity sheets um, for them to actually do their work so that I can have a record of all the work that they've done, and I can actually see the work that they've done, um, which um, if any of you are parents and you've had to deal with um, remote learning and electronics, it's kind of been a nightmare that... I don't always get, I r rarely get to see most of the work that my kids are turning in and I don't know what's required or what's due and it's been extremely frustrating. So I'm very excited <laughs> to be able to go back to having a physical record in front of me of the work my kids have done. So, and then in here, um, okay, so these are my science, the kids' activity sheets. So as we go through our science lesson, um, every day they'll have an activity sheet, and this is the last one just to give you an idea. And it's usually just a front and back, and it has like pictures, it asks them questions, they can write, they can draw, um, just to show, be able to demonstrate the understanding that they have of what we've covered that particular day or week in science. Um, so I, I really do love the science. And so then we've got, and this is our history that we're doing. We're doing Intro to World History Part 2. We did Intro to World History Part 1 the last time we homeschooled, and I figured we would just continue on with what we're doing. Um, but what I decided to do is uh, Sunlight offers a five-day-a-week or a four-day-a-week uh, curriculum option. We went with the four-day-a-week, which that's how you can turn a 180-day school year into 140 days. Um, and it just, it, it cuts out one extra day, and it just seems to make things just that much simpler for us <laughs> to be able to get through stuff and have that extra day for, you know, just in case we had makeup work or we missed something, we can spend a little bit more time, you know, addressing an issue. So we're going with the four day a week. And I'll, um, once I've gotten through all this stuff and I've actually set up my notebook, I will, I'll go ahead and make a separate video and I'll show you guys our our setup, the setup that I've got. Um, these are timeline figures, and so I actually have a book that's just like, it's it's a spiral bound note, like a book, and it's just a gigantic timeline from page to page to page, it just moves through the years. And then these are actual, the figures. And so they're just pictures and dates of um, people and events throughout history um, that we'll be learning about throughout the year and then the kids get to look up in the timeline book where this person when this person lived and so it's nice because as you fill in the book and you add events to the book you actually see other things that were happening around the same time but maybe in a different part of the world so it's really it's a nice it's a really cool thing that the kids can start to make those connections i really like that all right and then here is our science and Okay, so geology, meteorology, and mechanical technology. That's what we're officially studying in science. I know that our our DVD was something slightly different, but it's still, yeah, we're still good. <laughs> okay. Um, and then for uh, grammar, we're doing Grammar Ace, which this is something that I've not done before, and I'm really excited to try. This corresponds with Schoolhouse Rock. And guys, if you are on Disney Plus, all of those Schoolhouse Rock videos are on Disney Plus. 
If they're not on Disney Plus, you can look them up on YouTube. And so I just got the workbooks for the kids. I found the instructor's guide on, at a used bookstore. And so I cut back on a whole lot of money just doing that. And so um, that's, um, it's grammar, but it's also, it's phonics, it's writing, it's spelling. I love how much um, this will, will cover for them. And so I got that for my two older kids. Um, all right, so this is something else that's new that I've not done before, but this is spelling you see um, American Spirit because, sorry, my kids are not the best spellers. <laughs> and so um, I got the workbooks for the kids. We're going to be going through this. I got, um, I think I got two sets of this one, one for each of my older kids. And then I got the, um, the younger level for my, my younger child. So I got E, I got B, and then here is another E. And then, uh, so other than that, I mean, that hardly shows you any of the, the books that we're actually reading, but this is the curriculum. Like, this is the stuff that, um, like, is very specific to Sunlight that I really, um, is why I keep coming back to them, and I really hesitate to really want to look into, even look at other stuff sometimes, because really they include everything with this and they they spend a lot of time putting this together and it's just awesome I love this stuff so um yeah um whew, that's a lot now I've got a nice mess to clean up but I hope this helps a little bit at least it gives you an idea of what homeschooling should and can look like because the remote learning that we've been going through that's not, it, it's, it's been learning at home and having to be home for school, but homeschooling can be so much more and it can just be so much richer and so much more fun for everybody, including the parent or the teacher. Um, so yeah, that's just, you know, what we've decided to do and I thought I would share. I hope you guys are doing great and staying healthy and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.